So welcome. So tonight we are going to be talking about the root chakra. So I'm wearing red because it is the color of our root chakra. So tonight we're dealing with root chakra. Chakra will be going through all the other chakras as well. But tonight we're starting at the base, which is located, our root chakra is located right at the base of our spine. So our root chakra is our safety. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight is your safety and where you feel safe or don't feel safe. And then we're going to get into the energy healing so that we can release the energy that is trapped there. So before I go into the questions to really kind of dive deep into where your root chakra is, if it's overactive or underactive, or what is really stored in there, because remember, the way that I explain it is that every traumatic event and trauma is just a disturbing experience. And think about as your child, a lot of things are disturbing because we don't understand. So there's a lot that probably needs to be released if you haven't done energy work before. So a, cu a couple of things that you need to know about the root chakra is first of all, your chakras are just energy centers in your body. The second thing is that your root chakra is your safety. So it makes you feel safe. So some of the things that can, and, and each chakra can actually cause physical illness. So we're not just talking about the way that we think. We're also talking about our body and how our body is doing. And I know as we get older, there's things that happen with our body. And most of the time I find, and you can let me know in the comments that, you know, if we are suffering from some physical illness, it's most likely because of our energy in that chakra center. Okay. And we'll talk about that a little bit. So the root chakra is basically safety and our basic needs. Okay. It's grounding. And we talk about grounding a lot with energy because we don't want to live up in this fantasy world. We want to ground ourselves so that we're focused and we're kind of driven to get to our goals. So our, our root chakra is really about achieving our goals and staying focused and feeling safe in doing so. The body functions, and this isn't about the things that are affected with the root chakra, because we're going to dive deep into the healing part. But if you have adrenal fatigue, and I just want to mention this, okay, I'm mentioning this in my book, but Adrenal fatigue is very common in women, especially mothers, because our adrenal glands are overwhelmed a lot of the time, especially if you've had multiple pregnancies in a row. So if you feel lethargic, if you feel hormonal, like definitely check out your adrenal glands, um, something research adrenal fatigue, because this is where the root chakra comes into play. So it affects your adrenal glands, it affects your bones, it can affect your kidneys, and it can affect your spine and your bladder. So if you have any of those physical illnesses, the root chakra might be the cause. So we want to make sure that we, we do this. Um, this will be helpful. You look amazing. Thank you. Uh, hips are always aching. I do work on the root chakra often. Yes. Okay. So if you have an underactive root chakra, which means that it's moving slowly, okay, you might feel anxious. You might feel, feel fearful. Okay, this is where anxious, to me, anxiety comes from fear anyway. So you might feel anxious, you might fe feel fearful, say that like three times fast. <laughs> you might feel confused and you might feel restless. If it's overactive, you might feel um, self-centered, right? Because you're too grounded. You might be resistant to change. You might not see things clearly. This is where my narcissistic kind of comes in a little bit as well. Um, you might overindulge in food, sex, money, and um, yeah, you might be aggressive and like do like put people down. So that's where my narcissism comes in. So probably narcissism have narcissists have problems with their root chakra. Um, so that's just the basic knowledge around the root chakra. Okay. If you have symptoms of both, yeah, they can be overactive and underactive at different points of the day. Um, so that's that that's common. Okay. But let's go into your root chakra where it's at, and this is the thing, you don't need to know if it's overactive, underactive, if it's affecting your body or not. It All the point is, is to heal it. So that we want to release any energy in your root chakra that is trapped from events that have happened. And remember, tra trauma, let's change that word to wounds. And I've worked with so many people that are just affected by a look from a parent, something that the parent said, bullying in school like it doesn't have to be overly traumatic like abuse or anything like that 
these little traumas that happen in childhood create a lot of energy that stays in our energy fields until we release it. And I've worked with 60, 70 year old women who have still are still affected by the energy in their childhood. So that's why it's really important that you're here and that you're doing this work because you've got to let it go. You've got to let it go. Okay, so new to this. I'm feeling so not safe and secure questioning everything today. Awesome, then you are in the right place. All right, so get, to, get your pen, get your paper because I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions because we wanna get to the root of the issue. This is what I teach in my programs. We wanna get to the root of where your root chakra is and what's in it, right? What event, what, where in your past is still affecting you? So the first question that I'm going to ask you is where do you not feel safe in your life right now? And I'm going to give you a moment of silence through each question, just so you can write it down. And of course, you can always go back and watch the recording afterwards. So where do you not feel safe in your life right now? Give you a couple of examples. It could be relationship. It could be your job. It could be money. It could be family. It could be spiritually. Where in your life do you not feel safe? All right, so once you have that answer, the next question is going to be, where in your childhood did you not feel safe? I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes with that one. Just write ready in the comments when you guys are like ready to move on. Okay. So now I want you to think about that situation in childhood, and I want you to think about how it made you feel. What were the feelings? What were the thoughts? How did it make you feel to not feel safe? And then once you have that, I want you to ask yourself, how is that showing up in your life today? So what you experienced as a child and how you felt, how is that showing up in your life today? So an example, when I was younger, my father had left for like nine years. I didn't talk to him. So I felt very unsafe and it created abandonment issues. So that's, an, that's a safety thing for me. And therefore, fast forward in my life, when my ex and I separated, it came up a lot because I felt abandoned and I didn't feel safe. And that was going back to my childhood because it really had nothing to do with him. It had to do with back then. So how is this playing a part in your life right now? How is it showing up in your life right now? Basically, it's holding you back from something. All right. And the next question here is going to be, I want you to just close your eyes for a second. I want you to take a deep breath in. 
and go ahead and let that out. And then I want you to ask yourself, what would it feel like to not feel this way? What would that look like for you? Maria is saying that she's having some Wi-Fi issues. Is anybody else experiencing that? We got a few people. Okay, for those experiencing, maybe uh, log out and then come back in. And thank you for letting me know, guys. Love the participation, <laughs> love it. And then one last question, what do you need to let go of or change in order to not feel this way, to feel safe again? What do you need to let go of or change? Could be something that you can actually change in the physical world or something that maybe you have to change within yourself. Maybe it's the way you're thinking. Uh, could be boundaries, right? What is it that you need to let go of or you need to change in order to feel safe? So Rebecca, I'd ask you, what do you think it would feel like? I think that's what you're asking me about that question, right? What do you think it would feel like? Okay, sorry, Maria. Okay, so with those questions, I hope you guys did good. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, did you do good? Did some things come up for you? So you don't have to let me know what came up for you, but just let me know if things came up for you and you're ready to release them because we're going to go into the energy healing now. What was the last question, Constance? Um, what do you need to let go of or change to feel safe? Uh, yes. What would it feel like to not feel the way that you do right now? So basically what you're saying in the question. Heather, no worries. You're going to release it anyway. <laughs> she says, I'm not sure what I need to release yet. Well, it's coming, girl. A lot came up for me, ready to release, ready to release, I'm ready. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. That's okay. And this is the thing, if you don't know the answers to these questions, it's okay because the energy healing is gonna work its magic anyway. So, but if you can, because I always like to work with the mind and the energy. So if you are mentally aware of where this is coming from, it's gonna be easier for you to release the energy, but then also shift your mind, right? Shift your beliefs around it. So that's why I'm asking these questions for you. But if you don't have the answers, that's okay too. You'll let the energy do the work. Nancy says she needed this tonight. Teresa says ready for another release. Vibe up. Yes. All right. So let's do it. Go ahead. Get comfortable. All 
right? And then go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And then take another deep breath in. Give your back and your shoulders a nice little stretch. Stretch it out all the way to your fingertips and to your toes. Really relax yourself here. And then go ahead and let it out. And then one last time, take a deep breath in. We're going to call in all your angels to be with you here tonight to help you release any of the energy that's trapped in your root chakra from the past so that you can move forward in your life and feel safe. Go ahead and let that breath out. All right, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And then go ahead and let that out. And then one last time, take a deep breath in, give your body a nice little stretch here. And then go ahead and let that out. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you feel like something released. I hope you feel a little bit more safe. Um, there are three affirmations that I'd like you to go um, forward with for this, the rest of this week um, or for the next few days anyway. Um, is, and you want to write these down maybe, is I am safe. The next one I absolutely love and I use it all of the time is everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. And then the third one that I like is the universe always has my back. So when we, I would suggest repeating these multiple times a day. I even have an app on my phone that pops it up for me. Um, with these and other affirmations that I use. I think it's called positive affirmations. Um, so you can find an app on your phone that actually will remind you multiple times a day of these affirmations. And again, like I said, we just worked with the energy, but we also want to work with our mind. And the more that we can work with our mind, our mind does not know the difference between real and fake. I always use the example of tasting a lemon. Like if you imagine tasting a lemon right now, your mouth will start watering because our brain does not know the difference between real or fake when we're imagining something. So when we say these affirmations to ourselves, we start to really truly believe them that it's actually real. And then that's where we want to be. These are real, right? You are safe. Um, everything is always working out for you and the universe always has your back. So I hope those are helpful for you. Let me see the chat. Um, Thank you for this. I think I found something need to release the worry of not being accepted. Oh, I love that. See, um, I have so much to release. Need to listen to this three more times. <laughs> I chanted, I'm safe. I'm grounded. I'm protected. Yes, I like those two. I didn't hear the second one. The second one is everything is always working out for me. Um, say mirror affirmations. Awesome. Good. So I'm glad that you guys have felt something there and that you needed this tonight. So go with it. Um, you know, you can let me know in the Facebook group tomorrow, how things kind of feel tomorrow because tonight is the, is the release, but tomorrow, hopefully you feel as though, you know, something is different. Um, my mom passed af just after I turned 18. Think I found something there. Mm -hmm. So that would, can make you feel very unsafe, right? Passing, especially when children have like passings in when they're early. Um, I know you're 18, but that was, that's a rough, time to have your mother pass away. That's really something that you should focus on, on healing. But even with children, with their grandparents passing away, a sibling, a parent, like these things will keep that energy trapped in your, in your uh, root chakra because you feel unsafe, right? Is everybody going to leave? Like, is everybody going to die? Like those types of things. So definitely something to work on there. I kept hearing release, release, release. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so good, Constance. Beautiful outpouring of emotions. Awesome. Yes, I feel that. Awesome. Okay, good. So I'm glad. So that was the root chakra. So next we will be working on the sacral chakra. So show up and we will be doing the sacral chakra. I even have an orange shirt. So it better be cold because it's a sweater. <laughs> you guys know I don't wear orange. Um, so we, I will definitely see you all next week to work on the sacral chakra. Um, let me know in the chat box that this is resonating with you that this is a um, good kind of journey to go down with you guys. So, cause I know I usually do different things in here, but if you could just let me know that this was helpful for you so that I will continue all seven chakras like this so that we can really dig deep and clear what needs to be cleared within your chakras, right? Yes. This is a great idea. I love the chakras. Okay. Yes. It's hell. Thank you. So very beneficial. Love it. Okay. Then we got it. Okay. So next week we will do the sacral chakra. All right. Much love to you. Have a wonderful week. Feel safe because you are and everything is always working out for you. See you next time. Bye.